Hi, this is Masty Buddy for HAP 501 and I'd like to show you how to use Excel to conduct a dependent sample t-test. Um, why a dependent sample? Uh, in our example here, we are trying to uh, determine whether there's a difference between uh, two methods of uh, taking blood pressure. One is the di a direct method and an indirect method. Um, so we've taken the blood pressure of the same patient twice using each method. And that's why we're uh, using a paired t-test because uh, the values are per paired. They belong to the same patient for each pair of values of the direct method and indirect method. Um, so here again, uh, the requirements for a two sample t-test are met uh, because we only have two levels of a nominal variable for our independent uh, variable and that the dependent variable is a interval ratio variable and we're assuming normal uh, distribution in the population uh, but we don't know the variances in the population and so we have to and our sample sizes are small so we use a t-test and as I mentioned, because the two groups are dependent on each other, in this case because we've uh, taken the blood pressure of the same patient twice, uh, we use the two sample uh, in the dependent, I'm sorry, t-test. Um, and here is how we can do it. We'll go again under tools for data analysis and we will choose a t-test paired two sample for means. Uh, that's what we're looking for say OK and then we'll input our variables here is the first set here is the second set I'm sorry I'll move this here so you can see it um, we had chosen labels so I'll click this again I'm going to leave the hypothesis mean difference uh, empty because we're interested in zero our alpha level at 0 0.05, that's fine. Output range of right here. Say OK. And here we have the output for a t-test paired to sample for means. OK, so we were interested in a two-tailed test. Uh, here we have our test statistic calculated as 1.90 and our critical T for a two-tailed test is 2.26 uh, because that's greater than 1.9 we can't we fail to reject the null hypothesis uh, also because our p-value 0.08 is greater than 0 0.05 um, again we fail to um, reject the null hypothesis so because our critical t is greater than our calculated t or because our p-value is greater than our alpha level. Uh, therefore, we can assume that there is a difference between the two methods. Uh, they're both measuring the same blood pressure, so they're both good methods. And notice here that we are given the Pearson correlation. Uh, that's because we are using a pair to sample. Um, uh, we don't need to worry about that now. Later on in the course, uh, we'll come back to this. Uh, also, notice the degrees of freedom is 9. That's our sample size was 10. Uh, 10 minus 1 is the degrees of freedom. Um, and that's about it. That's how you calculate uh, or conduct a paired two-sample t-test using Excel.